The Heritage Plan is a plan to support students of African descent in completing the 15 college entry courses that we refer to as A through G. The district conducted a study a couple of years ago and realized that there was a um, service gap there and that the district didn't have any other program to address that gap. Hi, I'm Juan Eason. I'm a senior at Riverside Poly. Hi, my name is Alexis, and I am a senior at Poly High School. I'm Kaylin. I'm a senior at Poly High School. My name is Jaylene Jimenez, and I'm a senior here at Poly High School. Putting school over other things uh, like social, my social life and uh, actually sports, so it's helped me uh, really, you know, get a feel for what it's going to be like in college, you know, really balancing out uh, sports and academics. There's a lot of different people with a lot of different ethnic backgrounds. You walk around and you kind of feel like you're the only one who like looks like you. When I started off as a freshman, I didn't really think about college or anything. I just made the choice to get what I needed done. With my college apps, I had no idea how to even do one or when to submit it or the deadline. There are multiple reasons, um, so we just try to focus on providing as many supports as we can, whether it's tutoring, or just mentorship, um, and some of it is just education students knowing what they need to fulfill that schedule. Hi, I'm Anthony Scott, and I'm a senior at John W. North High School. Hi, I'm Polanyi Johnson, and I'm from Riverside Poly. Hello, my name is Sabrina Randall, and I'm a senior at King High School. Hi, my name is Brianna King, and I'm a senior at Martin Luther King High School. I'm about to say that usually not most African Americans are willing are like. Here, like here at school, there's there's not there's not a lot of them that are like work hard, work steady. So there's not not many of them are going to be wanting to go to a four-year university. You know, we're students who the data show uh, don't always graduate in as high of numbers, uh, don't go to college, don't get retained, or don't stay in college, don't persist until we uh, graduate and get the degree. I didn't have any college guidance and no one in my family has really gone to college. The most important is probably just the individual connection with the students and the follow-up on anything and everything that student needs to do to complete the courses and to apply to college and to actually attend in the fall. So we wrote for some grant funds to start off the Heritage Program and since it's been funded through LCAP. Hi, I'm Rolanda Smotherman. I'm a senior at Ramona High School. Hi, I'm Lynkayla Maddox, and I am a senior at Arlington High School. I'm Loretta Maddox, and I am a senior at Arlington High School. Hi, I'm Gannon. I'm a junior at Poly High School. My name is Kiana Lang, and I'm a senior at Riverside Poly. It's like targeting, you know, like um, African Americans and like Hispanics and trying to help them because like they sometimes don't get all the information they need. Like they bring us all together in a room or on a field trip and you see that you're not the only one and there's so many other people who share like similar stories and similar backgrounds. They were like able to really help me and like teach me the steps going through the application and with, and with the financial aid. Looking at the different majors they have and seeing how it's going to fit my personality when I, when I leave off next year. It helped a lot, when, like when we went on their field trips and stuff that showed us the college fairs and stuff. We looked at the different colleges and the people that ran their booths and stuff. Helped us with the, you know, how to make decisions on which college you want to go to. So I think opportunities like this, programs like this, that work with kids while they're in high school, that maybe go through their, their requirements, that try to pair them up with, with mentors and buddies. I mean, all of those things are things that have been shown to work, to be effective, to help kids be able to see themselves in college and immatriculate at greater rates. It's a really nice campus. I see that I didn't know it was this close to the mountains. It looks really nice and it's just a, it's just a good vibe around here. It just looks really nice. A lot of students. When Mr. Toner was coming here, he told me to take statistics because he said it help because I want to do culinary and I didn't want to take another math, but he said it would be best to take at least three years. I actually had the opportunity of attending the Summer Academy last year, this past summer, and I learned how to critically think in reading, writing, and math. And I think that's what helped shape my path, um, you know, exposing me to different opportunities. With the college tours, it actually got me interested in college and thinking about what I wanted to do. It brings together unity towards all of us. We're all going towards the same goal, which is to go to college, and that's like basically what it is. It brings us all together. 
surrounded by your peers who all have the same goals as you is pretty, pretty amazing. This program really helps us, really helps us, you know, get, get to the top life, you know. It's just excel at, our edu excel at education, just do better for ourselves. I kind of didn't want to go, and then when I went to those things, it made me, it's, they showed how much fun it could be while you're learning. So this is extremely important because hopefully this will impact the numbers. This will mean more kids now will be able to not just go to college, but all that that entails. When you graduate from college, you have opportunity, right? You have a greater likelihood of getting a good job, of earning a higher income, of being able to move to a, a nice, safe neighborhood, you know, of being able to lift your family and your community, perhaps out of poverty if you're in poverty. You know, there's a earning difference between people who finish high school graduation versus a college degree. And if people stay local, then that is putting money into our local economy. Families do better. Their civic engagement will be higher. And I help at the Youth Opportunity Center with young adults like me that have some trouble and that are my race. And I think it's helped me a lot. Like all the disabled students, they all came up to me trying to give me hugs and saying hi to me. And just, I just seen like a smile on their face when I was helping them out. So it just made me feel like, like this is the thing that I should do in life, that I should uh, uh, dedicate my, uh, my career to be a special ed teacher. So. Our college acceptance rate is amazing this year, and I'm really proud of the kids. We have more than quadrupled the number of students participating with UCR in their early outreach program. We have sent students to the Cal State San Bernardino Leadership Symposium where they are at a college, they meet the college people, they can build their college going identity. We're encouraging our kids to just pursue secondary education or just an after high school plan. We have some students who maybe want to pursue other fields, even the military. I'd like to go in the military after high school, so she's really helped put me on the right path as far as what I have to get done while I'm still here and what to do once I get out and you know all the questions to ask the recruiters, counselors and to really push my teachers to help me rather than you know just struggle. I got really more involved this year so it was like it's I, I really see what it was its purpose was. So college I mean this to me this is the last lever of the American dream um, um, you know the sort of the last lever of, of opportunity for lots of people so to get them here is, is everything. Oh man, that was my first ever acceptance letter. That's my first school that I've heard from, and it's been me, me, me and my dad were just crying over it. Like, we were crying. yeah, we were crying. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first time I ever seen my dad cry like that before. I mean, he was just he was sobbing, That's so awesome. and I just gave him a big hug. It was it was amazing just knowing that you got into a school and knowing that you have an opportunity to go somewhere after high school. It's just it's it's a great feeling. It really is a team effort. Um, and adding the heritage site contacts was just that little extra that we needed to reach out to this specific demographic of students. Hi, I'm Juan, I'm going to Cal State LA. Hi, I'm Kaylin, and I will be attending Loyola Marymount University. I've been accepted to Cal State East Bay, Cal State Monterey Bay, and Cal State San Bernardino. Hi, I'm Gannon, I'm going to the United States Navy. Hi, I'm Pauline Shanton, and I'll be going to Cal State Poly Pomona. My name is Kiana Lang, and I'll be going to Cal State San Bernardino. My name is Julian Jimenez, and I'm going to be attending Cal State San Bernardino. I'm Matthew Scott, and I'm going to Chico State. Hi, I'm Rolanda Smother, and I'll be attending Cal State San Bernardino in the fall. Hi, I'm Lakayla Maddox, and I got accepted to California Baptist University. Hi, I'm Lorraine Maddox, and I got accepted to CPU. My name is Sabrina Randall, and I am going to ICC next year and transferring to Columbia. Hi, my name is Brianna King, and I got accepted to UCLA Smith College and UNC Chapel Hill.